what is up everybody here we are again messing with the truck so today's goal is get the engine bay pretty much cleaned up and ready to drop an engine in it now obviously the number one goal when putting a large engine in a car that didn't have a large engine before is making sure that you have enough space um, to do so obviously right now if i could just throw it in there that would be ideal we got plenty of space no brakes at all no steering shaft but unfortunately we have to have those things in order to move i got a new manual cylinder it'll take up a lot less room than the uh vacuum boosted one i'll try and show you a picture of the vacuum boosted one right now i mean i still got the big old chunk right there but I would like to show you what it looked like in there. You can see how much room it takes up. It's annoying, it's ugly. So we got a better one. And then the steering shaft, um, probably have a picture of that in there too. So we got a new steering shaft. Another thing that'll help us clear up some room is we're gonna cut out these motor mounts because we don't need those. Um, so, and we're really ready to throw the steering shaft and brakes in there, but while they're out, I would like to knock down some of this surface rust here and then scratch and repaint that like I've done with everything else in here so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that and then we'll be ready to install some things So I got the motor mounts cut off and the areas scratched up that I couldn't really reach before, including over here. Got the all the rust scratched off up there too. So I'm gonna wipe it down, make sure everything's good and clean, and then go ahead and I guess give it a coat of black primer or paint or something, but it's gonna, it's like, I don't know, it's cold today. So might take a long time, if not, uh, never sit right. So I guess we'll see how it goes. While I'm waiting for some of the paint to dry, now would be a good time to go ahead and pull the bolts off this, uh, or the one bolt off the brake pedal. Get that dropped down so we can press a new pin into it. All right, so I got the new stud pressed on the brake pedal here. Um, so as you can see, it swings from this point up here so when you press on this, um, it's going to give you less, less travel per, per uh, distance the brake pedal's pushed in, but it'll give you more uh, leverage because you have a longer distance between the pushing point and the, the lever. So that'll, that'll help a little bit pushing the brake pedal down because basically if you've ever run a car or you've tried to brake a car with it with the engine off that's kind of how it'll be so you give yourself every advantage you can here um, so that you don't need that vacuum booster in order to brake effectively so i'm gonna take these two 18 millimeter bolt nut bolt it back up in there and then we should be about ready to start with the installation of the new master cylinder So there is the brake pedal installed back inside with the new pin on it up there. So let's go ahead and get to installing the master cylinder.
master cylinder is pretty much buttoned up it's bolted in um, basically all I got to do is run the lines now there's a few small things I got to finish up inside like I got to put that back on set the right height or uh, that's a threaded joint there so I can move it in or out depending on and I so basically I'll just set it as far as I need on here to try and get the most breaking out of out of the system here you can see the cotter pin for that guy in there uh, the cotter pin this is the, the factory cotter pin here and the new cotter pin so you can tell they're not messing around with this uh, manual brake junk but I'll get that buttoned up and I'll move on to the steering shaft. So I think I talked about this uh, steering shaft a little bit. This is a Hooker Blackheart steering shaft. Um, basically it's designed for small block or LS swaps or big block, you know, whatever, into the old S10 platform where the factory steering shaft that's like got a two or three inch cover on it that goes, runs right through here. It very often uh, is a culprit for getting in the way of the um, exhaust manifold on this side or header or whatever. So by going to this thinner one, I'm hoping to not have to bash in any exhaust manifolds or headers or whatever. And hopefully we can keep everything mint. Looks like it's finally starting to come together in here, like something significant's happening. But uh, so if you noticed, I set the thing in there, tightened the, barely tightened the set screw, and then I took it out again and moved a little bit. That was just trying to align the steering wheel as best as I can. I still don't know if it's perfect, but when I first had it uh, on there, the wheels when I had them when I turned them straight the steering wheel was like that so that wasn't good so what you do you basically try and get the wheels as straight as you can and then set the steering wheel to set straight and then you can set that shaft on the splines you can either do that or uh, align it up with the steering wheel but since I already had this undone I just chose to align it down here but honestly it's a nice looking nice looking product from hooker um i didn't know they made anything other than headers so i thought that's pretty neat um i guess it makes sense though since it's something you get to avoid having issues with your headers so so i gotta make sure i tighten all these set screws down one more time then give the lock nuts a, a cranking and that's pretty much it that's uh that's how you're going to give yourself enough room on one of these things in order to make some real power in order to you know fit all the horsies and such so thanks for watching if you want to stay updated with the build don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it and uh yeah i'll uh see you later